Very good. Let's go to Janet in Florida. Hi, Janet. Yes, hi. How you doing? Thanks for taking my call. Pleasure. Wow, you we sound more energetic than I am. Yeah, we watch you all the time. We, we learn a lot from you guys. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, listen, we have a problem here. We live in Pembroke Pines, Florida, and it's very hot and humid here. And every time the air comes on, our air, our vents are in the ceiling, all right? Every time it comes on, we get the, I get this damp, uh, musty, moldy kind of smell. Uh -huh. What mm -hmm. is going on? And we've had people up there. Florida Pile Light's been up there. They don't want to touch anything because it's so old. Our house is like 32 years yeah, old. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I, and I've smelt that smell. I mean, I know what you're talking about. Where, where's it from? The truth and what is, is going on with that? Yeah. I mean, ah. No, it's, a, it's annoying because you want to cool it down, and all of a sudden you got this smell blowing through your house like a damp rag or something. Truth is, air conditioners are not the best dehumidifiers. Mm -hmm. um, they're only going to take out, you know, a certain level of water. And when they come on, you know, they don't always do a great job. You smell that big blast of humidity. Right. In fact, there's a new product out now by a company called April Air. That's called a whole house dehumidifier. Basically fits into the air conditioning system. And this machine will take out 90 pints of water a day. And if you live wow. in a climate like Florida, Texas, Houston, Cincinnati, this is a product you might want to think about having installed in your house because it's specifically designed to take out that kind of water. The other thing to remember is that when you read your thermostat, don't set it too low. People tend to s speed up the fan and turn the thermostat too low, and that does not give the evaporator coal enough time to evaporate that water before it drains off so the water stays in the air, and that makes the house very clammy. Slow it down. Slow the fan down. Slow it down. Do the opposite of what you think. Don't drop it down oh, to 70. Run it at 78. And you know, I'm a bit of an expert on air conditioning this week, because <laughs> mine conked out. So I, I've That's been studying air conditioning. That's the next thing we're going to talk about, Danny. Well, yeah, no, we're, <laughs> I get my stuff in here one way or the other. If you have, uh, a lot of people use window air conditioners, things like that, how do you compensate for this uh, excess humidity that way? Because all humidifiers, all, all air conditioners will dehumidify to some degree. Right. Do you then add an extra dehumidifier? You don't have as much control, obviously, if you don't yeah. have a centralized system because you don't have the duct right. system to, to be able to use something like that April Air product. So then you really want to look at the sources of moisture around the foundation perimeter. Poor drainage, number one cause of moisture problems. Soil that points into the foundation, right. gutter systems that are blocked. This causes the humidity level in the house to go up, and that really affects your health. But what if it's just your climate? What if, you, what if you're in a situation where you just, it's a humid place and all you have is, is window units or something? Should you buy one of these little things that takes the, you know, you empty the bucket out yourself? Do you think high, high they're particularly labor. effective? Uh, they, they really take a lot of electricity. And they give off a great deal of heat. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And so it, it kind of so works get, against that. It's, it's, yeah. it's better just to have the air conditioner properly sized right. to the area that you're right. cooling because it'll pull the humidity out Good properly point. and should work well. Good point. Okay, let's take a quick break. We'll come back with these two guys and uh, them helping me with my home improvement. Danny Lifford of Today's Homeowner with Danny Lifford and Tom Kreitler of the Money Pit Home Improvement Radio Show. one